<laughs> okay, we're here at Remington in Ilian, New York, and the subject is Jim, who's manufacturing the 200th anniversary uh, 870 Limited 2016. Correct. Um, so the first thing we do is we, uh, of course, inspect the receiver that came from color after they've had all the engraving and the gold put on. So we inspect it for any flaws, any marks, any anything that just isn't aesthetically pleasing. So go from there. We find a nice uh, decent match with the fore end of the stock. Then it's just a matter of assembling all the all the pieces together. That's some gorgeous wood. You have your uh, receiver stock sub-assembly. We have our uh, core end that doesn't have our feeders in it yet. I'm going to move to a different bench and put that stuff, put that stuff in, then finish the assembly of the gun. I, wa I wanted to ask you, the, those recoil pads are all pre-ground? Yeah, they um, fit. They fit this all at, uh, at our location where we get the stocks from. The recoil pads and everything are already pre-fitted to the stock when they sand them all together. They actually tape the recoil pad off when they spray the lacquer so that it leaves that nice dull finish on the recoil pad whereas everything else is, as you can see, pretty shiny. And uh, but that's how they do that. Okay, so over here what we have is, uh, I'm gonna assemble the forearm. I use a, a slave uh, receiver so as we don't scratch the mag tube on the finished product. Mm -hmm. Got our feet up. Our forend. So you check for fit. This one's kind of stiff, so I don't use that one. Four end nut. Now on the regular assembly, we use a, a power tool to do that. Down here, we tried to make we want to keep things so that stuff didn't get marred up. So we're using hand tools on most of it. There you have your uh, complete action assembly there for the fore end. So then we go from there back to our receiver. You got your fore end. You're going to assemble slide, bolt. Check the bolt, make sure there's no scratches, dings, or mars in the bolt. That assembles into the receiver. Make sure it's smooth. And then you're going to put your interior parts in, which I already have in this one. It's a spring follower. And, uh, magazine limiter. Into the magazine. Barrel assemblies. Check those all over. Make sure there's no scratches marked. On the bench, it's pretty much a secondary because we've already pre-inspected um, for any dings, mars, or anything, scratches, flaws in the rib, make sure everything's good, stamps are where it's supposed to be, sights are put on, and just assemble that. Take a mag cat, make sure that doesn't have any color issues with it, everything's good on that. Still 
it's smooth, then it's flowing to the trigger plate, trigger plate assembly. Make sure there's no flaws in that. Everything's good. Two plugs, a min and a max for headspace. I always check the max first. Make sure it doesn't close up, doesn't fire. So it's not going to be a max head. Now we want to make sure that the minimum specs made, so fired down. So after that's done, we're going to run a magazine full of dummies through the the action to make sure it functions smoothly, it ejects and does everything it's supposed to do. Okay, and the final step before sending it on out, sending it on down to the next operation is to just make sure there's no scratches, dings, mars, anything in it after being fully assembled. So I'll wave it down. Check the wood, make sure there's no dings, mars. Anything that would cause a customer to be unhappy with the product, we want to make sure that nothing's there. There you have it. That's the finished. Beautiful gun. No Thank question you. about it.
Yeah. Well, yes. It looks like a pneumatics and just pneumatics and hit limits, the switches. Unless that door is completely closed, it won't fire the trigger. This is where they're accuracy testing the Model 700. Right, so he's going to put into the system what skew he's shooting. Right. And it will tell him spit the range is supposed to be, and it'll give him a pass fail on every gun. So that's done with every single Model 700? We do a sampling on the Model 700. So the between is 3 and 30. If 3 pass, the load passes. If one fails, the whole load has to be shot. Law enforcement with the open sight. They get shot 100% and targeted 100%. 870s. This would be our 870 range for police. So this is the 338 Lapua, shooting down the 200 yard range, only shooting at 100 range. This range goes the whole distance of the front of Remington. We're underground right now in the old Erie Canal system. It's not really new technology, but it's just right. how, how many people do it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's dry cycling stretches across about every industry, whether you're a, a cabinet maker, you know, like these big duty uh, cabinets, you know, they open and close drawers for thousands and thousands of times. Hinge manufacturers, those types of things. But to do it with firearms uh, and then be able to collect data. Again, we live and die by data. Uh, you know, how does the stroke change across uh, the lifespan of the bolt? How does the trigger pull change? Uh, what's the difference in torque to unlock the locking lugs from mm -hmm. the first to the 5,000, 50,000? Um, it's all good, important stuff. 